So what's the G word? Anybody want to take a guess? Did I say yes? Did you say yes? What's the, what's the G word? Does anybody want to take a crack at what the G word is? Huh? Grace? What'd you say? Gluttony, yes. We're going to talk about gluttony. Yes. We're going to talk about gluttony. I did it. We're going to talk about gluttony. What is gluttony? It's a disordered disordered appetite, a relationship with food that is obsessive, either excess or defect. What is it? It's the enjoyment of excessive eating and drinking that has been disconnected from contentment in God. You do, we don't think about that. There's something there when we are overeating that we're trying to fill, but we'll get more into that later. Everything we do should be in connection with our relationship with God. How are we presenting our bodies to God? Are we showing God our allegiance in our everyday life? In our walking, in our talking, and our eating, and how we spend time. How do we show God that we love him? I mean, food is good. Come on. Food tastes good. It's a good idea because it's God's idea. He gave us these taste buds so that we can taste food. But gluttony takes something that's good and abuses it. I said it takes something that's good and abuses it. In a way, because of gluttony, we become slaves to the thing and whatever we are overindulging in. And even though I want to talk more about food, you can be a glutton in so many other areas. You could be a glutton in social media. Don't raise your hand, but I know we got some social media gluttons in here. Over, excessive. What about spending? You could be a glutton when it comes to spending. Can't stop, won't stop. You could be a glutton in so many other areas of our lives. My people perish. 1 Corinthians 6, 19, out of the New Living Translation says, don't you realize that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost who lives in you and was given to you by God? You do not, do not belong to yourselves. 1 Corinthians 6.20 goes on to say, God brought you, he bought me with a high price. You must honor God with your body. You know, it was spoken even at Bible study as we were talking about this. It says, someone said, our temples ought to be taken care of. We need to learn all you can about your temple of the Holy Ghost, which is your body. Learn about it. Don't leave it in the hands of others. Don't bury your head in the sand when it comes to this temple. Because sometimes we put little or no effort into the care of God's temple. And here's what the Bible says, not Cheryl. Here's what the Bible says if we take little or no care. Philippians 3, 19, new living. They are headed for destruction. Their God is their appetite. They brag about shameful things and they think only about this life here on earth.